there's gotta be a better one. They're supposedly coming up with this Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know, uh, cultural resources? Yeah. I'm gonna get some more testimonials right there. Hey, Kevin. Hey, can you tell me, do you mind doing a brief uh, video interview here? Sure, let me put my bagel. No, 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 you, don't even, uh, you won't even see the bagel. Well, I don't want to be. Can't even see it. Okay. You just sure? No, 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 no problem. Yeah, sure. How about the glasses off? Is that better? Uh, no, your glasses are. There we go. I just need you in the light. Okay, go ahead. You want to tell me who you are? Why you're here? What's going on? Okay, I'm Ken Roos, I'm first vice president of the State Employees Association, and we're here today uh, to talk to the, the members of the committee of conference uh, and, and ask them uh, to, to work hard and come to agreement with, with they don't, don't have to be cuts in, uh, in the back of the budget, which would end up in laying off up to 700 state employees, hard-working state employees that provide uh, income back to the state, their income back to the state and uh, support their families and also to uh, not study uh, the, expanded, the expansion of Medicare to just in, enact the, uh, the legislation to allow accepting expanded Medicaid. Do you want to tell me how much money is being proposed uh, to, be, to be cut for the state employees' budget? Uh, the back of the budget uh, cut is $50 million uh, uh, expected to be cut from uh, the state employee budget, which would uh, affect up to 700 families. And how would that hurt working families? Well, it would uh, result in layoffs to hard-working state employees and, and trickle down to uh, affect their entire families and, and the support that they in turn give back to the local economy.